Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria. I'm coming to you with card number three of Classically Modern Card Series. Um, today we are using this paper pack right here, and or paper pattern, and this is uh, called Crazy For You. And this is a double-sided pa paper. One side has this design, and then the other side has four different other designs. And it was pretty awesome. I got it from Tuesday morning and it was um, $1.99. So let's get started. My card is a five and a half by eight and a half. And here goes my card base. So as you can see, the cut that we are using today is this Cheer Up uh, Umbrella card. And sometimes in the in the design space if you don't have the booklet you really don't know what to size it but on here it says size it at five and a half so that's what i end up doing and then it came out smaller than eight and a half wide so i didn't want the card to be four by five and a half i wanted the card to be four and a quarter by five and a half and um i didn't do the envelopes but guys all these cards they come with their own envelopes so let's get started Let's do the inside. Now for the inside, what I ended up doing was I cut this shape out as my base layer. Then I have this paper right here, and I don't know if you can see it, um, this paper. And I'm very limited with this paper right here, so what I did, I came out with an idea, and I took the bigger shape and the smaller shape, and I put it inside of each other. And what I did was I sliced it and I got this frame out of it. So then I still can use the inside of the paper and I'll still have some paper left over. So because I bought this paper in Tuesday morning and Tuesday morning haven't really been getting no uh, different design papers. So I'm trying to limit all my good card stock. You know, trying to use every little bit. So I didn't really need another piece behind here. Because that would have been a waste of space. All of this would have been a waste of space, let's say. So what I did, I put this in my stash so I can use it for die cut or anything else like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to adhere these all together. Okay, and for this step, I'm going to use wet glue. You can use dry glue if you would like. So I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, because I needed a base to put this on, so I just cut out the full cut in some light gray card style. And you're not even going to see it. Okay, so there goes the piece that I was talking about. Then, the piece that was out of this uh, frame right here, I end up cutting it out of the yellow, and I'm going to insert it right inside, and it's going to wedge right in there, and it's going to be like it's layered. So I'm going to use some ATG for this. Okay, so I'm going to bring my piece back and we're going to insert it right in here. And it wedges right up in there. Okay. 
Okay, so now I have my sentiment. And what I ended up doing was doing the layers in uh, Design Space, guys. I took the biggest shape and then I did a, a duplicate. Then I measured it down and I did another duplicate and I measured it down. So here goes my other layer. So I'm going to put that right on top of the yellow. Guys, we got really lucky. We didn't get that storm. We got a little bit of rain and there's still a lot of people underwater. You know, flooded out from the last time we got rain and it wasn't even a storm. So we got really spared this time. Okay, and then I'm going to add this to my cardstock, my base. Okay, so I'm going to bring this back in. So guys, that's another trick that you can do if you want to limit your paper, especially if it's a specialty paper. And I don't know why this came up. Okay, so there goes the inside of my card, and then I end up cutting out a two, a three and a quarter inch strip, and then by three and a half, then a half an inch strip by three and a half, and I wanted to make a border down here. So, but before I do that, I want to add this border instead of using a full sheet of paper. And I'm just going to add this to the bottom of my card base of the white. Okay, then I'm going to add my pad and paper. And you see this is the other pattern that I was talking about on that pad and paper. Then I'm going to add this right on top and then I'm going to add the other strip on top of the pattern paper and I'm going to just butt it right up it's going to go right here Oh my god, that looks so pretty. So there goes the inside of my card. It says, Huggable, Squeezable, Lovable You. And I got that sentiment out of the My Creative Time with Emma Treasure Moments. And here it goes. And then for the floral, I used my Inky Dicky Doo Dot Flourish. And I used this one right here. And I just put a design because it was too plain. Then... I took my Dragonfly Punch from Tonic Studios and I did a little boo-boo. So I try to cover it up. So there go some dragonflies on it. Now we're going to start decorating the front of the cart. Now before I close this up, on the side of the cart, in the front of the back of the front of the cart. Oh, I didn't even, that didn't even sound right. In the back of the front of the cart. Okay. Oh, I it comes with a layer to go behind it so we can like highlight your uh, raindrops so I'm just gonna put some ATG and I think I'm gonna put some wet glue okay then I'm gonna add this down here I'm going to try to center it and that look good there. Then I'm going to press down on it so it can go through. I mean, so it can adhere. Okay. 
Okay, now the next thing is, let's see. Now, as we close it, now you see the raindrops in front of the image. Now, I could have just left it like that, but of course, I had to switch it up a little bit. So what I ended up doing was doing the same thing as the inside. I took a half a strip of paper, and I'm lining it on the bottom, then the pattern paper, and then the other strip of paper. So let me do that right now. Okay, that looks good right there. Then I'm going to adhere the pattern paper. And I'm going to butt it against the bottom trim. Just like so. And then I'm going to put the other trim down. And you know, guys, uh, simple things like this is what enhances your cards, too. I mean, okay, I got to give it to you. It takes me a little bit while because sometimes I just, it's just a plain card. And I, it shouldn't even take me a while because when I start my cards out, I start my cards out plain. But, you see, I start my cards out with my own idea, not already a pre-made idea. And that's what kind of messes me up a little bit. But I'm working it, so I'm, I'm trying to come through it. I saw maybe one or two more things that I might do out of the cartridge. I'm still not sure. Because I got my mind on... Woohoo! It's September the 1st, so Halloween is next month. Oh my god. I need to get my cuts ready. Then after Halloween is Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, Chris, uh, Thanksgiving should come first. No, no. I'm right. Halloween. Okay. So as you can see, this is our layout. Now, on the cartridge, you end up cutting out. It has... Two different style umbrellas. You can use the style umbrella with the dots on it. Or you can use the style umbrella with the lines on it. The stripes. So what I end up doing. I end up using the dot ones. And it comes with the sentiment that says cheer up. So let's do that. So I didn't have to measure the size of cheer up. Because as you end up... Putting the card five and a half by eight and a half, it ends up sizing it the right size. So here goes my sentiment. It says cheer up. So I'm gonna go and and I think I wanna pop this up. Yeah, I wanna pop that up. Okay. So let me get some foam tape. Okay, uh, let me add one more right here. Okay, so now that I got my sentiment all popped up, I'm just going to lay it down on the bottom. And this paper that I got, it is so beautiful. I rarely use it because I'm scared to run out. And I really don't even know where... I got it from Tuesday morning, but I don't know where Tuesday morning got it from. What paper place sells that paper? So now I'm just going to add my sentiment. 
And I don't really want to push down right now. I just want to see. Okay. So then the next thing on... I ended up cutting out this butterfly the other day out of uh, the new artistry cartridge. And this is a one and a quarter inch butterfly. And I'm going to use it in this card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my butterfly right up here. So let me add some glue. And I'm going to add the butterfly right there. And I think that looks good. And I popped it up to where the wings are up. And then the card will lay down flat. And then you just got to, you know, push it, pop, pop it back up for a little bit. Look at how beautiful that butterfly is. Now, last but not least, here goes my umbrella. And I just love the colors of this, the turquoise. I ended up putting some bling on the rhinestone and on my sentiment. So now I'm just going to take my umbrella and I'm going to attach it right here. And I'm going to lay this, the umbrella down because I have the cheer up popped up and then the butterfly also seems popped up. So I want to give it like an illusion like the umbrellas in the back. I think that looks straight yes excellent so there goes card number two no no I'm wrong guys sorry 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 this is card number three of my classically modern card series I hope you guys enjoy taking just different colors look at you would never I, at first, I didn't think it was going to come out all right. But as you keep on layering and adding on and taking away, I mean, the colors, they are magnificent. They all match together. And it says, cheer up. Huggable, lovable you. No, huggable, squeezable, lovable you. Letting them know, you know, you're, you're so cheery. Come on, get out of that rut that you're in. And if you're under the weather, you know, come on, snap out of it, guys. Come on, it. we got we to gotta go. We got to do things. So there goes my card, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please thumbs up. I so do appreciate your support. You guys can come follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Uh, definitely, if you don't know, if you can go straight there on my channel page, I have a link on top that takes you straight to my, to my links. So I so do appreciate your support. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy. Bye now.